Hey, it's Jamie with Dubhub on 1200 WOAI, and today I have some very special guests. I have here America's Got Talent Season 9 quarterfinalists, Sean and Luke. Guys, thanks for coming out. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank you. I know you guys are promoting America's Got Talent auditions for Season 10. Can you tell us all about that? Yeah, so uh, for San Antonio, uh, January 29th at Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center. Um, I'm pretty sure they start at like 8 o'clock, and then they'll go and see everyone, actually. So you better uh, head over there and check it out. Go audition. Our advice to you is that you guys just go out there. If you have a talent, go out there and do it. I mean, we ended up in, on TV in front of 12 million people, so it's yeah. going to be a great experience. That's very cool. And I also understand that it's the only audition in Texas, so it's kind of a big deal, right? Yeah, of course. It's, it's, and it's a great opportunity for anyone, you know? I mean, we didn't even... We didn't even expect to get as far as we did. Exactly. I mean, and we just went in there doing it uh -huh. for fun, and then yeah. we ended up getting to the quarterfinals. It was pretty sick. Yeah, so that's awesome. A lot of opportunities. So I have to ask, what, what made you guys? How early did y'all start tap dancing? You know, uh, around age three, we started uh, doing tap dancing, and then there it grew into like different styles. And then we joined a competitive dance company, and then we ended up on AGT for our senior year. So that was that's pretty fun. Yeah. yeah, that was really cool. So how was your response back home? You got home, you know, your seniors, and you made it to national television. I bet that was huge. Yeah, it was it was really really cool. Uh, let's see, the episode that we were on didn't air when we were in school. Actually, we were already mm -hmm. both out of yeah, school. Yeah, we already graduated. Okay. But that um, but I mean, kids at school. I mean, they knew it was coming, so uh -huh. we got a lot of support. It was mm -hmm. really really cool. That's awesome. I imagine you know your fan base must be blowing up now. Your Twitter handles, your Instagram. Yeah. It's yeah, uh, <laughs> phone actually froze as soon as we were done being on TV. Like my phone, like for, like I have the the flash notification uh -huh. thing. The thing just froze for like a half an hour. It was unbelievable. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it's it's something that you never really expect. You know that mm -hmm. would happen, and it happened. So yeah. it's really cool. That's that's awesome. So can you tell me about your I guess your wildest and craziest fan story? Oh man. Oh Gracie. <laughs> <laughs> there's there there's a few. Very dedicated fans. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, Even to this day, they'll they'll uh, tweet at us every morning. Good morning, how you doing? And then they'll like give us DMs like, Hey, what's up? How you doing? And and I mean, it's great, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Um, that they're still like supporting us even yeah. though the show's over. And stuff exactly. Like that. And they'll. I think it's fans that we'll probably have for a long time and will follow us mm -hmm. with whatever we're doing. Yeah, you know, of course. which is great. Um, but we have, we'll get tweets from like people from Australia or like Brazil <laughs> being like, uh -huh. hey, we're over here and we're supporting you, which is great. And their English is kind of a little broken, but uh -huh. it's totally cool. Yeah. And like to have people even outside of the United States, it's it's crazy. That's awesome. You got to go global, right? America's of got course. talent. Exactly. Yeah, that's super cool. I know we had a Twitter user actually tweet at us asking us when we're going to air the video. And I was like, later on today. Cool. So she's watching out there, Miss at Rebecca Lynn. We got you. <laughs> <laughs> she's a huge fan of you guys. Cool. And uh, so, you know, what's what's next up for you guys? Um, both in college currently. Mm -hmm. um, nice. He's over at NIU. Stanford. Okay. <laughs> <We're at Stanford. laughs> um, being a history teacher, uh, and I'm over at Boston Conservatory doing some musical theater. So, hopefully, hopefully we both make our dreams come true. <laughs> Very know. cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, we still still dance whenever we're around. Yeah. You know, even even when we don't have a performance coming up and I'm home and we're both mm -hmm. together, sometimes we just go into the dance studio, just jam it out because, I mean, it's something we both love to do and it's really fun, so. That's cool. Do you all have like an official YouTube account that you guys upload those videos to? Or? No. No, no maybe, we maybe we'll that. start if people want it. Who knows? That'll be something to look at. Um, yeah. So how's it been in college? You know, America's Got Talent. I imagine there's be some people that watch the show, a lot of people actually, and be like, hey, you're on America's Got Talent. Right? <laughs> how, do you how do you react to that? <laughs> I imagine it's huge, too. Um, it's... It was it was weird like orientation week you know you you get there and people are just like yeah okay yeah you were yeah you were on TV they'll, got they'll, it they'll they'll come they'll like walk walk past you like this and they'll like give you like the little stare but they don't know exactly because usually it was just like but him by himself and then me by myself because like he would be in Boston and then like we would just get, get like stares but then they wouldn't like come up to us and like actually yeah. ask because yeah. they don't know for sure yeah when so. we're together when we're together people are like. Okay, it's like a little bit, it's a little yeah, bit easier to kind of, yeah, but separately it's just a look and they're just like, I don't know, okay, <laughs> and then that's <laughs> it. Um, I actually had a friend who's from Canada mm -hmm. who was a really big fan of America's Got Talent. Really? When I finally came to school, she was like, hey, you were on TV, and I was like, but you're from Canada. And she's like, I know, but I love America's Got Talent, so hey. yeah, it was like, it was really cool. That's yeah. awesome. So how did uh, MKTO Classic, well, what made that your song of choice for when you were competing on America's Got Talent? How did that come about? Um, well, with songs, we only had like limited choices. And uh -huh. then um, we got the idea of doing Classic. It was like a big song mm -hmm. during the summer. 
Um, it went really well with tap, with the tap style. Okay. Um, we had a lot of fun dancing that. That was that was probably my favorite one to do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah for that's sure. It's cool. Have you have you got a chance to meet MKTO? No. No. Actually, after when we uh, got off stage doing the dance, we uh, we tweeted at them and then they tweeted back, which was pretty sick. Yeah, that's yeah, really cool. that's awesome. Yeah, we had him here in the lounge, and you know they're really great people, Malcolm and Tony. But yeah, after yeah. this, we'll tweet him out and hey, get yeah. some retweets out of that. So hopefully, hopefully. Well, here it is. I mean, shall we have the people you know check out your thing? Of course, of course. Not got classic for all our fans out there. Yeah, we do. Make sure you check out the America's Got Talent Season 10 Auditions and check out the website at agtauditions.com, Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center, January 29th.